Brad, welcome on board. Um, someone moved from Gainsborough Trinity. Um, how did it all come about? Um, obviously, the season finished and um, the gaffer got in touch with me. Uh, I went to meet him and he obviously told me his plans for this year. And um, I feel like it's a, a good move for myself. Um, size of the club and stuff like that. Um, something that I was really interested in getting involved in. You've obviously moved over with George Willis. Um, player that did well against Boston last season and um, I presume both of you were eager to make a good impression. Yeah, George is a good lad. Uh, I've known him since I was like nine year old anyway, so um, but uh, yeah, both of us coming across. Um, looking forward to playing with him here. Um, I'm sure the fans will like him, he's a good shot stopper. Um, and a very good keeper as well, right? so I'm looking forward to playing with him. And you've perhaps played against each other for United and Wednesday in the the academy system in Sheffield? Yeah, uh, the last game I can remember I think we beat them. Uh, sure I scored as well but I can't <laughs> remind him about that a few times. But um, yeah, I played against them a few times for Wednesday uh, and then obviously playing with them at Gainsborough. Oh, he's a good lad, uh, looking forward to it. Are you a centre half, a left back or, or happy at, at uh, either position? I, I'm naturally a centre half but the last season at Gainsborough I played left back. Um, left footed presumably? Yeah, yeah. and. Um, I feel like I'm growing into being more of a left back now. Uh, I'm obviously learning. I'm wanting to learn more now at left back, but I feel like going forward, I'm more of a left back than a centre half. And presumably that adaptability is going to be key because if you're going to be in the team, you're presumably not too fussed where which position yeah, it's in. Uh, I don't mind wherever I play. I play wherever the gaffer wants me to, as long as I'm on the pitch. Um, I don't mind. I do a job for the team, but whether it's centre half or left back. Pre-season trains obviously started today. You've got five or six sessions before that first game at Boston Town, and probably a chance to get in and get to know the rest of the lads and, and yeah. really get some team spirit going. Yeah, well the lads seem good. They've uh, welcomed us in well, and um, obviously the first session's been tough. Got another one this afternoon. Um, obviously pre-season's hard anyway, but uh, get to know the lads well, and then look forward to that first game. We were talking to George earlier, saying there are now six playoff places up for grabs, so a top seven finish is what. You need to be to be a yeah. successful team this season, and presumably that that's the aim in the dressing room before you kick off. Yeah, that's what we're looking to do. Um, just take, take it each game as it comes. Um, obviously, we're not going to win every game, but that's what we'll look to do: try and get as as out the, the table as possible. And a few lads in there with not points to prove, but one or two have stepped down and one or two have stepped up. So everyone's looking to impress for different reasons. Yeah, that's what it's like. That's what football's about, isn't it? And just just taking each game as it comes in and and doing the best for the team. Um, obviously Jack who's coming as well uh, I've known him from playing at Barnsley he's, he's um, obviously like you said got a point to prove but that's that's close for everyone I feel um, if we all dig in and buy into it I feel like we've got a good season ahead and all eyes on the fixtures now um, only 10 days or so away and once they're out you can you can really look forward to what's hopefully going to be a good season yeah looking forward to the, to the fixtures coming out um, I'm looking forward to get started really, um, obviously pre-season is always hard so get that in the bag uh, and then we'll look forward to the first game of the season.